To size the proper dosing tool, the first thing we want to do is to solve for the grams per second, the feed rate that the dosing tool has to actually feed at. Let's first look at injection molding. If we have a shot size of 250 grams and a color percentage of 5% and a feed rate of 8 seconds, we want to solve for the grams per second. So if we take 250 grams and multiply it times 0 0.05, we get 12.5 grams. So that means each shot we want to feed 12.5 grams. So if we want to solve for the grams per second, we simply divide the 12.5 by 8 and we get 1.56 grams per second. Now let's take a look at an extrusion application. Let's assume the extruder is running 100 pounds per hour and we're running 5% color. The first thing we want to do is to solve for how many pounds of color we're running per hour. So we would take the 100 pounds per hour and multiply it times 0 0.05 and we get 5 pounds per hour. The next thing we want to do is convert that to grams per hour. So we take the 5 pounds and we multiply it times 454 and we get 2,270 grams per hour. 454 is the amount of grams in a pound. Solve for the number of grams per second. We take the 2,270 grams and we divide it by 3,600, which is the number of seconds in an hour, and we get 0.63. So we would use 0.63 grams per second to size the dosing tool. Now let's discuss selecting the correct dosing tool. First we want to go over the golden rule of dosing tools. Always select the smallest tool to do the biggest job. We always want the smallest screw or cylinder because each time it rotates it will give us the smallest amount and the control can, can control to one revolution. So if a one revolution gives you one gram and you have a bigger screw that gives you 10 grams, you can see that you'd rather turn 10 times in, to get 10 grams because you can control to one tenth. So you always want the smallest screw that has the capacity to do the biggest job and if you have critical jobs you may want to split it up into several tools. So you always select the smallest tool to do the biggest job. Now let's go over the difference between a feed screw and a dosing cylinder. A feed screw is a typical screw and barrel that you would find in many feed devices. Uh, they're extremely accurate, they've been around for lots of years and they've been developed to where they're very predictable. The other option is a Movacolor patented dosing cylinder. It's a spiral screw, screw inside a cylinder that rotates with the cylinder and it doesn't continue to the end of the cylinder so it puts out a continuous flow of material much like a vibrator eliminating the pulses that you would generally see with an auger this means that you can get much more accurate control at low rates and with fine and granular material okay now that we've done that let's do a comparison. If you're going to run pellets, obviously both will do a good job. The dosing cylinder, if you're running smaller amounts or critical application, transparent colors, yellows, reds that have to match, uh, is a good choice. If you're running fine granules, both can do it as well without any problem. The dosing cylinder can do it more accurately because it eliminates the pulses. Powders, both have the capability of running powders, but powders is a very broad spectrum. So if you want to feed powders, we definitely want to see it. We may want to test it. Uh, we definitely want to look at that before we decide what's the right uh, dosing tool for powders. If you're running less than three grams per second and your material will run in a dosing cylinder, which I'm going to talk about in a second, you definitely want to go to a dosing cylinder because eliminating that pulsing effect is going to become very critical. This is typical on small shots or extremely low letdowns, uh, you know, running 1% or less of color. Uh, the dosing cylinder is 
a wonderful, accurate device, but it does have its limitations. Uh, if you have a material that has static, they can build up on the flights and then you get an unpredictable dose. So uh, most materials don't have static, but in general, uh, I like to go with the feed screws because they work on absolutely everything, but there are many applications that will only work with a dosing cylinder. So we definitely sell a lot of dosing cylinders and there's a lot of uh, applications where it is certainly the best choice. Now let's actually select a dosing tool. If we go to the worksheet from MovaColor, we can see that there's several pages explaining how to select tools and the different tools that they have. But let's focus on the chart on the front page and let's focus on the column that's two columns uh, from the right where it actually gives you the dosing capacity. So you can see in the first line the GLX, which is a dosing cylinder, uh, has a feed range of 0 0.02 to 1.6 grams per second. And now that we've learned to calculate our grams per second, we can just select the proper screw and or dosing cylinder for the application. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, just give us a call. We'd be very happy to help you and go over all your different applications.